love and marriage, love and marriage. They go together like a horse and carriage. Not always. This I'll tell you. Hello, Amanda. Hello, Dennis. Hello, Pat. Hello, Dennis. My nonna, my Italian grandmother could interpret your dreams. Yes. I know she was pretty good, um, Jane, but my grandmother is a good dream interpreter. Yes, so if you need me ringing. to ask, I will. <laughs> or you can get her on the radio. That'll be fun. <laughs> be old, we'll gee. ask about that. What an interesting dream. She's Goodness a big fan. Me. My nonna of Tony Tardio. She doesn't care that I work with Dennis Walter or Neil Mitchell yeah. or Ross Stevenson, the biggest talk people in the land. It's if the I tardio. say Tony the Tardio, tardio. <laughs> she gets all sort of excited yeah, she that goes I work all, with Tony. All dreamy. Uh, love see. and marriage for Harvey Norman. Shop with confidence online, mobile, and in store. What's happening in your world? What's happening? Well, we've just had two weeks uh, of gastro in our house, so that's been great. What a challenge. Lovely topic. Um, and gastro. The children, the children <laughs> yes. have been ill, and then, of course, I got ill. And uh, yeah, and we had a little tour around the school yesterday. Our, our eldest boy took us for a special tour around his primary school yesterday, where we did. Um, I've cut in, cut in here. Sorry, I've stopped you halfway go, there. Go. But we went to his classroom. We went to uh, the Italian class, and he showed us around. It was beautiful. We went into music class, then the sport section, the sport uh, uh, room, where he showed yes, us all these bits and pieces. PE, Pat, that's yes. right. Um, it's still I, called PE. That's PE. one thing hasn't changed. No, that hasn't oh, changed. I, I hated PE growing up. I hated school swimming sports because I was a chubby boy and I was a, I was <laughs> anyway, so back embarrassed to what happened of my, yesterday. my man, my boy boobs. Does and Pat I didn't drift not, in conversation? I do. I'm a shocker. I'm he sorry. He drifts in everything. So, and I found out something about Amanda when we went, went into the PE class. Oh. They had this um, display of high jump, mm -hmm. high jump. And uh, did you know that in the Mexico Olympics, they used to do the scissor kick to get over the high bar, but then they started the flop. Mr. Fosby did the flop to get over the high oh, jump. Oh, the Fosby flop. The yes. Fosby flop. And Amanda said she was very good yes, at so the Fosby yes. flop when she was at school. And you, I just never Look, knew that. you don't know everything about me. No. There you go. She's a Fosby flop. that's certain secretive part yes. of her. Yes. That's not a bad topic. What's the things you've learnt about your uh, your partner? Now, I thought you were talking about feuds, Pat, today. And yes. feuds that are going on. Now, look, we've been doing this segment for a little while. I'm just going to spring this on you, Pat, because oh you were gosh. saying to me, you know, things we're feuding about. And we've been doing this segment for a while now. And I can remember the very first segment, the very first topic we came up when we did this segment with right, Dennis, right. was the fact that you didn't buy me a birthday present. Exactly right. That's why we we started. Yeah, that's why we started. Now, it's just been my birthday. Which is about a week ago. Pathetic, about a week ago. Panetta. It's pathetic. Now, do you think Pat might have learned his lesson? Oh, just been my birthday. 45. I've turned very proud. I'm feeling great. Let's just tell everyone, Pat, how did we celebrate my birthday and what did you do to honour your wife on, on my birthday? Well, you were unwell. You had a headache, a terrible headache right. on the uh, Monday and the Tuesday was your that's birthday. That's right. I'd been, I'd been sick. That's and right. I said, Amanda, let's go out to dinner this weekend. <laughs> I did, didn't I? <laughs> She sprung this on me. This well, is what's really sick. happened. Yeah, I really wanted that. No, I said, this good. weekend, let's go out to dinner. Yeah. And then I was looking through our bank account uh, details, oh. as I do over the weekend. <laughs> I'm doing all our accounts and things. This is and romantic. And noticed, I know, well, uh, it's and, the truth. Yeah, what did you notice? I noticed that uh, Amanda had spent $90 plus at Bunnings buying some things. And I said to her, <laughs> So you do the handiwork around the this house This is well. after my birthday. This is after my birthday. Yeah. Because he did nothing for my birthday. No did card. No present. No flowers? No flowers. No, but the plan was to go to dinner on the weekend. No, but I didn't. No, we didn't want to do that. That's, that's ahead. You should come home and say, here, happy birthday. So I had to go to Bunnings and buy my own birthday present. Oh, this is a complete setup. Um, I, so and, I think it's magnificent. And so again, another birthday, come and gone. Even the kids said, what did Dad get you for your birthday, Mum? Nothing. There's this uh, lattice fencing she's bought out, this chicken that we've got is this? Is anybody listening to this? Is this on? Well, I can't believe we're What's talking about this. Nathan, your new producer. Are you going to sack us, Nathan? <laughs> I would if I was you. Anyway, we're talking about this new chicken, right? Vera the chicken <laughs> that we've purchased. It poos everywhere in the backyard. <laughs> what do you expect it to do? Oh, my it's God. So I bought More some... Than a, a so horse. as my birthday gift to myself, I bought some lattice fencing. How rom romantic is that? I'm just wondering if anyone else's husbands are just as Bad lame right. as Pat... When it comes to birthdays. $90 for the lattice fencing. Then I go for a little run and, and you see on somebody's front lawn the same lattice fence like for the hard run. You could have nicked it. Now he's complaining that I've bought my own birthday present. 
Why didn't you just... I, a piece I, of lattice to yeah. get, stop the chook from pooping on your back. That chook's going to have to earn its way. Is there any sort of illegal cockfighting that I can get involved in with that chicken? But I'll take I'd it on my arm know, and, and see if I can win something. I would really like to know. I'd like you to explain yourself. What is the problem with the birthdays? Why can't you Why get a card, God. get something? How long have you been doing this? 13 months? Yeah, months? Yeah. Well, it's been a year. Last time was your birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pat, oh, here lift. We Lift? Why? I should use the book of answers that I've got here. This is a little book that we found lying around. The, I'm not doing a, di- uh, a distraction thing here, but the book of answers was lying around the radio station, which Katie loves out there. So maybe I can use the book of answers. You're supposed to think of the question, then There's, open the book the, of answers. The answer so the is very is, easy. Um, the question is, before you open the book of answers, uh, is it silly of a husband, is it disrespectful of a yeah. husband to... Just disregard to your disregard wife's birthday. To disregard his wife's birthday. Even, now, though, I was open paying, the book even of though I was paying to take her out on the weekend. Okay, book of answers. Here we go. I'm thinking of that question and I'm opening up. Uh, not if you're alone. Well, you will not be if alone. If you, alone. Miss, you will be alone if you miss How another bizarre. birthday. Because, you know, you can say anything. Oh, you know, I'll take you out to dinner next weekend. Who, that's nothing. Mm-hmm. You should have at least a card with a message in and it. And did he take you out? No. Oh. Uh, the centre lane and right turn lane of Springvale Road blocked uh, northbound between Wellington Road and Fern Tree Gully Road in Glen Waverley. There's a collision there. Jan, good afternoon. Oh, hi. I'm just got one word to say to Pat. I yes. cannot believe that you're still alive. <laughs> Right. I would have what done is... you in if you hadn't bought me a birthday present. Mate, I tell you, that is the worst thing ever. Especially given yeah. that Amanda was ailing. Yeah, she and I, yeah, that's right. I'd been ill as well. And, and I'm not talking, I don't want uh, something expensive, a card. A card with a note to say, you know, something. You're not a bad chick. Yeah. I've got, you've sprung one on me. I've got a real, we had oh, a, no, no, we're I'm not, not going to do it now. I did a, we had a really big Barney during the week that I can talk about later. It was a real row and she hasn't spoken to me for days. So, but let's take some calls first. Do you do the silent stuff? Well, uh, well, she just is off me. I can I just tried, feel the cold. And, you know, and do you know why? Do you know why? I'm being passive, passive aggressive, Pat, and it's all stemming from my birthday. I can say oh, that now. See, okay. It is all from that. You really hurt my feelings, actually. Well, we'll quite... This is therapy. We should get other people in this. This is really helping our relationship, Dennis. Thank you. Rachel, good afternoon. Um, <clears throat> every t- my birthday's coming up in August, um, but whenever it comes around to my birthday, he remembers, but he says... Oh, where would you like to go and eat? Now, yeah. I don't know if I want to go and eat. I like to do bowling. I want to do something exciting. I cook at home. I've got kids at home. I have to cook for them before I go out. I don't feel like going out and eating because I'm cooking at home. May as well eat at home. That's right. I'd rather go somewhere else. And can't he organise it? Can't he get the little, you know... What about a, a gold-class movie? Yes, yeah, something. A bit of creativity. If you love bowling... How hard is it to ring up and book a, a lane and off you I go? I mean, there might be a movie he wants to see. Always give a present you can use yourself. <laughs> uh, Rachel, thank you. Hello, Joy. Oh, good afternoon. Thank you, Amanda and Pat. I love your segment every week, and I'm always late for an appointment because I can't make an Oh, nice food. of you to say, Joy. I thought we can get the sack after <laughs> talking about Vera the Chicken. <laughs> no. And I'll tell you what, you would never hear about Vera the Chicken on Neil Mitchell's program, so there you are. <laughs> the first segment I ever heard, I was driving the car about you two... Uh, about the new bed. And I laughed so much and I had so many tears in my eyes I nearly yeah. crashed. <laughs> People mention, to, mention it to me all the time. They don't believe that we sleep in separate bedrooms. So. And, no, and with the lack of birthday presents, you can hardly be surprised now. Well, I'm not surprised lately because you've been unwell and you might be you know, germs. And I sent her a text last night saying you need to come to visit me. No response, and Dennis. And it's all from... Saving money, see? It's all from the birthday <laughs> present. If you'd bought me a birthday present... Things would be different. Right. It's 14 to 1. More uh, more abuse coming up after the break. And right now, a chance for you to win $200 from Channel 10's new show, Ripper Street, 8.30 Sunday on 10, 9600-693. The crimes took place in the 18th century. True or false? Entertaining Melbourne. Afternoons with Dennis Walter on Melbourne's own 3AW. It's 11 to 1. Congratulations, Simon, from Frankston South. $200 richer thanks to Channel 10's new Ripper Street. 8.30 Sundays on 10. Another chance each hour uh, today. Carol, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. I'd just like to let you know I've been married 45 years and my husband has never remembered my birthday. (gasps) Carol. And then when it's the children's, I've got to tell him so that he won't forget this. Carol, it doesn't mean that he doesn't love you, though. Amanda's got... She's upset about this, and I didn't realise, but I love her dearly and the kids dearly just because... 
Uh, I was planning for her birthday, by the mm. way, but it doesn't mean he doesn't love you, Carol. Oh, I realise that because he loves the children just as much and doesn't remember theirs. But, Carol, does it uh, offend you? Are you upset no. that you no, don't because, mind? No, because he's, it's something that's, uh, say, for instance, if it was occasionally he forgot, I would be offended. But he's never remembered, so it must <laughs> so be... You just... You'll be suspicious if he remembers next year. But the thing is, I did remember. It was in my calendar. Yeah, well, I knew why? it was her birthday, well, Dennis. I was planning everything. You had a headache. Uh, a trouble. Well, what's, what's, I, what's me got a headache I, but, got to do with it? That means I just pulled it back a little bit and just no, waited for you. No, but I don't want you to pull it back. That could settle down, please. Oh, no. Steve, hello. Oh, my gosh. How embarrassing. Hi, Steve. Hey, Pat, you there, mate? Yes, I'm here, hello. Steve. Go for, come on, Back me up here, please. I'm, I'm with you, brother. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Oh, the brotherhood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> do I know? Do we know each other, Steve? Is this anybody? No, we don't, brother. Oh, we don't. oh good brother. <laughs> if she's sleeping in a different bedroom and not answering your text message, no present, mate. I oh, know, brother. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, Sandra, hello. Hi. How are you going? Good. Hi, Sandra. Just to, um, just to make Pat feel even worse, uh, one year my husband um, had uh, gone through nearly the whole of my birthday um, to get into. Um, say happy birthday and realised the, the situation, he, um, he frantically looked around and came across a In Sympathy card <laughs> and um, very imaginatively used some whiteout and took out all the, um, uh, the out condolences, all the it, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to change it to, to basically say happy birthday. Didn't have an envelope, unfortunately, he couldn't find one, so um, just presented it sort of upside down on the table and um, there, there you go, happy birthday. <laughs> Condolences, it's your birthday. Uh, well, at least that, that shows that shows creativity. At least we'll do, we'll do anything for a present. L- last minute, to, I could walk into a Seven Eleven. They could say it's going to cost you three hundred dollars for this bouquet of flowers. I say, please but, give it to me or get me Pat, out of trouble. The thing is, you didn't. You didn't even walk across to the news agents. You could go to Coles and get a bouquet. You could go to Seven Eleven and Let get Dennis me a bounty. Speak. Something. Yeah, Pat. I'm very disappointed in you. I didn't give the answer. Uh, for oh. The answer to the Ripper Street, the question was, uh, the question was, the crimes took place in the 18th century. False. It was the 19th century. Um, Nikki, are you in the same situation? I am in the same situation. I feel for you, Amanda, but I've, I've, it's amazing how a man can remember his own birthday, but when it comes to their partners, they don't remember. Mm, that's He's true. always celebrating his own birthday like it's something really special. So you know what I did, Amanda? Oh, I've had a boyfriend for the last two years, <gasps> and he remembers my birthday and oh much my more. Gosh. <laughs> oh, hang on, are you still? I think with... it's time for a boyfriend. Oh, I love it. it. I Sorry, love Pat. It. Sorry. Uh, hang on a minute, Nikki. Are you still married? Yes. But, but the boyfriend's got. And my boyfriend remembers everything: my birthday, <laughs> celebration, <laughs> our date when we got together, everything. That's the best birthday present I've ever heard of. <laughs> Nikki, give her a bataki ham. Yes. Well, no, I don't think I've got oh, any bataki okay. hams. Oh, well, there you go. I have got some. No, she doesn't up. need a bataki ham. She's got a boyfriend who's giving her all the no, uh, gifts just... and presents. Pat's taking over. That's fantastic. You got two tickets to take either your husband or your boyfriend to Stomp. <laughs> Uh, better than ever, new routines at the Comedy Theatre from August 20. Eight shows only. Uh, book a Ticketmaster. We will be back after these. Three to one. Hello, Paul. G'day, Dennis. I've got to say, I really don't blame Pat for not buying her a present. Uh, brotherhood again. Yeah, Pat, if you had got her something, it just would have been the wrong present. She's exactly always right. got to have something to argue about. That's right, and I've done her a favour. <laughs> You've gone out and got a chicken. You hadn't pecked enough, for God's sake. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Hello, Ron. Ron, go ahead. Oh, hi, Dennis. How are you? Good. Like your singing, mate, and like your presentation as an announcer. Good stuff. Thank you. Very good. Dennis, um, my wife turned 80 this year, and I'm 80 next year, and we're in the fortunate position, I think, like quite a few Aussies our age. We've got everything we need. And we've done, they've got everything we want. I'm not talking Aston Martins and jet planes, but, you know, at the average price level, pretty comfortable. And what I do is uh, I don't do a lot of shopping because I'm a busy guy. I've got a lot of things to do. And uh, what I do is when we get away for a holiday, which we're about to do next week, heading up north, I wait till uh, my wife goes into a shop and if she picks up something three times, she likes it. So I buy it. So this year I had a big party, which cost a few bob, but didn't get her a present. But that's going to happen somewhere along the line, maybe at Dargo up in New South or further on oh, up lovely. Cop Harbour. He sounds like the perfect man, Ron. You are a very Ron. sensitive new age guy, Ron. See, if, you're, if I pick something up three times, you should be buying okay, it. Okay, I'll keep an eye on Not you. the rolling pin, however. <laughs> uh, Jenny. Oh, 
Well, my husband's really organised. We've been married 45 years. About a week before my birthday, he'll say, now, don't forget to go and buy yourself something for your birthday. Ah. Well, and he does it on Mother's Day and Christmas too. And when my children were small, I even used to buy my own cards. But in the end, I thought, oh, no, I'm not, you know. I'm well, not that's what Amanda did. You went and bought your own present. I thought you were happy until you, you launched the torpedo live on the you, radio. You mustn't have thought I was happy, Pat. You must have felt the chill. And then it was oh, four I days was afterwards else. I thought, I'm going to just... And then you had the audacity to ring me and say, oh, what's this $90 you've spent at Bunnings? <laughs> that's what he did. You... um. You need to lift or you'll be yeah. out with Vera. Sort it out because if you send me I'll be pooing in the back. If you send me a text tonight, I will not be answering. Sort it out. Uh, thank you, Amanda Brocklebank and Pat Panetta. Thank, thank you, you, Dennis. Jen. I spent three hours prepping for this spot, didn't use one thing in my and folder. Pat, I think tonight text again. Oh, I'll try again. Thank no you. flowers, no answer. <laughs>